In this video, I'm going to install Android Lollipop on my Nexus 5. So let's get to it. So this is the OTA update that is rolling out to all Nexus devices and all Motorola devices. And of course, it's the latest version of Android. Now, if you're wondering why I have Scratch here, probably have extremely dirty hands, is because I was working out in the yard. It's fall here in the United States. It's November 20th, 2014, and I just had to clean up my yard from all the leaves and actually finished. So I'm extremely dirty and I'm extremely tired right now. I need to eat and I need to take a shower. But when I came inside, I realized that uh, Lollipop had come down for the upgrade on my Nexus 5. So I thought I'd share it with you. So it says right now, you get the little characteristic Android who's updating. And I don't know if it happened before, but his little antennas are moving. I don't know if that's something new or if it's just something I never noticed before. But we are almost updated. The update has downloaded. Uh, I got a notification that said uh, Android 5.0 was ready to download. So I hit download and it downloaded it. And uh, then it said it was ready to restart the device to load it up on the device. So that's where we're at, where we're at right now. And uh, I don't think it's quite ready yet. So I will join you. Actually, it looks like, no, stop there for a second. Um, I'll join you when it actually prompts me to do something. So I'll see you on the other side of that. Okay, we have a new boot animation, which actually looks pretty cool. Now, I didn't opt to get the Nexus 6 because, well, if you're familiar with my channel, you know that I had the Nexus 1, I had the Nexus 4, I had a Galaxy Nexus, and of course now the Nexus 5. And I opted not to get the Nexus 6 because it's a little big, and I'm really satisfied with my Nexus 5. I really like my Nexus 5, and there's really no need to upgrade. So, it looks like this boot animation is going to continue, so I'll probably edit some of this out. So I'll join you on the other side of this. Alright, Android. Android is updating. Optimizing app 17 of 160. I didn't realize I had so many apps on my phone. I really don't use a whole lot of apps, so maybe I have to purge some. I probably use about 10 on a regular basis. You can already see the hints of material design, which is the name that Google gives the new style of uh, the visual style of the operating system. All right, now it's starting the apps and now upgrading contacts database. Now it's finishing boot. This whole thing took about five minutes, I want to say. Okay, so here is the lock screen, and I've been trying to do this a couple times, but it keeps going to sleep on me, so I'm going to have to describe it to you as it goes to sleep. Up top here it says home, then it shows my Wi-Fi signal, my carrier signal, and my battery power, and then in the upper right-hand corner there's a little icon there, it looks like a, a head. So I assume that's maybe my, um, I don't know, we'll figure out what it is, uh, my Google account associated with this, I don't know. Shows you the time and the date, and then it has all the notifications here, and then on the bottom you have the phone call icon, you have a lock icon, and then you have a camera icon. So, I have all my notifications blocked out, as you can see, but I'm just going to dismiss one, and then you can actually see, or actually hear, what it sounds like when you dismiss a notification. And I'll do it by swiping to the right. I don't know if you heard that, but it was just a very little tapping noise almost. So let me pull down from the top. There sh still should be the notification tray. And as I do that, the notifications move here. I wish I could show you them, but you'll I only block out the actual notifications. You'll see on the side uh, how they're moving. And when I bring this down, I have some quick launch things here. First thing is the screen brightness. Then it has my Wi-Fi signal here and my home wireless network. I can turn my Bluetooth on and off from here. This is my carrier signal. You can put it in airplane mode or take it out. Auto rotate, you can lock that. Uh, you have a flashlight mode here, which is interesting, and a cast screen. 
screen, all from this lock screen here. Of course, you have your time and date, and then it shows you your battery power, and then you can go into the uh, settings, and then let's see what this little blue head is here. Okay, so this is interesting. This is a user account. You can have multiple user accounts on your phone. Now, this is something that was on Android tablets, but now is on Android phones. So this is my account. I can add a guest or even add a user to this. I have more settings and done. So that's going to be interesting to delve into at a later date. Let me jump into my settings here. And it says, unfortunately, Google search has stopped. So I don't know what that's all about, but it looks like it opened the phone when I did that. A couple things you'll notice, or at least on the bottom, you'll notice that the icons changed. You have a back button, which is now a triangle. You have a home button, which is now a circle. And then you have a square button, which is, uh, I believe, your uh, multitasking button. So let me hit OK here. So these are my settings on the device, and you'll already notice it looks different. It's a white background. You have sort of a, a, a greenish blue for uh, the icons, and then you have black typing or black font. Now, if I scroll all the way up, you'll notice you have a visual cue up here that you've reached the end of the line. Likewise, the same is on the bottom here. So I don't know if you can see it here, but it says Android version 5.0. So let me click on that. And it gives me a lollipop, or at least just the lollipop, no stick. Let me click on that. Okay, there we go. It got bigger and you got a stick on it. It says lollipop. So, running 5.0, Android 5.0. So let me hit my home button here. And let's see how it looks different. Everything looks pretty similar, except the app tray looks different here. Let's click on that. And the transition is also different. So that's one thing about material design, which is, again, the design ethos behind Android 5.0. It's, it's giving you visual cues that correlate to the real world. And I do apologize for that dirty thumb. I just saw that. But anyway, again, yard work. So if you click on the app drawer here, you see that it kind of bursts up onto the screen and then goes back down. So it's giving you a visual cue that you're actually going into it. And that, again, is the theory behind material design. Now, generally, with the Nexus launcher, if you go all the way to the left, you have Google Now, which is the case here still. Of course, you can swipe over. Got more apps over here. Final apps over here. Let me move that one. Moving them is pretty much the same. If you've used Android before, this shouldn't be much of a change for you. Just a little bit of different visual cues going on here. Let's go into a folder. Let's go back. I don't know if you can hear those little noises it makes. But um, that's going into a folder. Again, pops up. Shows you exactly where it's coming from. All right, here's the new keyboard. It's a white or a very light gray with black lettering. And it looks like it's going to function the same. You have your uppercase, your lowercase, spelling things out. You can either use the swipe functionality or actually spell things out the way you want to. So that's pretty much the same. Now, from what I understand, the Nexus 6 is able to do the OK Google commands from an app. When you're inside of an app, you can do those commands. On the Nexus 5, you can only do that when you're on the home screen here, as you just saw there. Let me go into the calculator and show you what I'm talking about. OK, Google. See, nothing going on there. So that also gives you an idea of the transitions. Calculator shoots it up. Want to get rid of it brings it back down again. Now, I noticed that when I put the phone to sleep, it has a different animation. It used to have that like TV, turning out a TV, a tube TV, where it would go and there'd be a line in the center, but now it looks a little bit different. It just kind of fades and gives you a popping sound. So that's Android 5.0 Lollipop on my Nexus 5. And again, I apologize, I'm extremely tired, I'm extremely exhausted from being out working in the yard all day. 
I'm dirty and I'm hungry, so if I missed something, uh, leave a comment down below and I'll try and cover it in a future video. But that's going to do it for this one. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to help out my channel, give me a thumbs up, favorite this video, or share this video. And again, leave me a comment if you want to talk about something, if you want to talk about this, if you want to comment, whatever. I think I need some food. So I'm going to go do that now. I'll see you guys next time.